Hi everyone, so today I'm going to do a video about my hair care routine. Recently I had a lot of comments saying, oh your hair looks so nice and lovely, and of course I was very flattered, and I was thinking, okay, why does my hair look so nice? I haven't had it cut, I had not had it cut since, we're in June, I hadn't had it cut since December last year. Um, but I did have it cut on Tuesday this week. I had to have three inches off my hair, but that is besides the point. Um, yeah, so I was thinking like, what could it be? And the only thing that has changed is my hair care. And I'm quite a skeptical person. I don't think products will, can, you know, create miracles. But clearly, these products are helping my hair look nice. So, um, I'm gonna talk to you about my hair care. Number one though, what I'm gonna say is a bit of advice. I didn't get my hair cut, not because I was trying to grow my hair. Um, I've had long hair, I've had short hair. I'm not really precious about the length of my hair. Um, I pretty purely haven't had it cut because um, my hairdresser um, retired from hairdressing basically due to an injury. When I asked to cut it because I just go in, he knows what I want, he cuts it, chop, chop, chop. I love it, it looks amazing. Um, so that's why, and then I was like, at the end of my tether, my mum was like, your hair looks seriously bad, it was ratty at the ends, and I was like, cheers. So she cut the inches off, the ends look so much better, my layers are cut and shorter, so it makes me happy. Hair care, now, this is a new, um, sort of hair care range, um, that I was given. Um, it's, apparently it's in the US, so that's good, so, you, you know, I, lot, I know like 50% of my viewers are in the US, um, and it's slowly coming over to the UK, so, and I'll tell you how you can get a hold of it. Um, the hair care range is called, what is up with that bit, it's called Unite Hair. Number one, obviously, how you clean your hair. I have the, um, volumizing. this is important because this is all of my hair, like all of my hair brought around to the front, this is it. I have fine hair, so anything that will make my hair, or promises to make my hair bigger, bouncier, fuller, I want it. Um, and I think, you know, getting your hair cut and layers is important, um, but products are also very important, because a lot of people moan that they can't get their hair volumised, but I think purely that's because, you know, if you're going to wash and let your hair air dry, mine's going to go flat as a pancake, and so will other people. So, here we have the volumising shampoo and conditioner. Um, I would say I wash my hair every two to three days. Um, I'll use dry shampoo on both days two and three. But obviously if I go to the gym more, I sweat more, the hair's going to look greasy. So, you know, every two to three days is probably normal. Um, and I will use heat on my hair probably in a week. I'd probably use it five out of seven days. If it's up, I don't really genuinely need to use heat, and normally on day three, it will definitely be up. So, volumizing shampoo and conditioner. They're all sulfate free, um, free from parabens, free from gluten, sodium chloride, DEA, and MEA. Um, they're all vegan, and they're color safe. So I've got the volumizing shampoo, and that retails at 15.85. It contains a product called Moringa Seed, which has 17,000 times the power of vitamin C. Antioxidants, um, which will protect your hair from colour fading and pollutants in the environment. It contains a silicone, which will help to um, smooth your hair. So it sort of like works as like silicones work as sort of in, in hair care. They work as sort of like an anti-breaking system. They smooth your hair, so your hair. Uh, it looks like roof tiles laying on top of each other and so the silicone coats the hair smooths it down so that you're less likely to roughen up the um, cuticle of the hair and um, break it. We also have the um, volumizing conditioner and sorry this is um, 10 fluid ounces or 300 mils and that's 1790. Just contain key ingredients like panthenol, um, which help to smooth your hair, um, which Pattern 10 Pro V are, you know, they're their line is based on panthenol. Of um, hydrolyzed vegetable and um, wheat proteins, which are gluten free, which, you know, protein is good for growth and repair, so that is amazing for hair. And I also have a little tester, oh no, not tester, a little travel size of um, the seven seconds conditioner, and that's what I've used in my head today is the volumizing shampoo conditioner the booster spray, which I'll talk about in a minute, and the seven seconds conditioner. And I washed my hair this morning at 7am, it's now 
20 past six in the evening. I haven't done anything since from to my hair since this morning and I think it still looks really nice. It's held the curl really well. Um, so this conditioner is good because it does not, it's a leave-in conditioner so I know I'm protecting my hair. Um, but it doesn't weigh it down um, because trust me, if it could, it would because my hair is fine. Spray this little conditioner on all my ends. My layers start here. So I spray it on all my ends and just brush it through the bottom of my hair um, to keep my ends nice and conditioned with a leave-in conditioner. And the travel sizes, I think they're all about five pounds um, and you can get them across the whole range of hair care. So that's really good for when you go away. Then the two styling products I have are First up is the booster spray, and this is amazing. Number one, it smells like coconut, so it reminds me of pina coladas and holiday. The shampoo also has a similar. The shampoo's more fruity, banana-y holiday, summer holiday, and the booster spray is definite coconut. But, oh, I love that, it smells so good. That's what my mum said, oh, your hair smells really nice. I'm pretty sure it's the booster spray. Um, so what I do is when my hair's wet, I would section my hair and spray it in the roots. Shake the spray and then spray like one, two, three, just in the roots. And then I'll, um, after I've sprayed all my hair, I'll just massage that in to my roots with my hands um, and then start drying. £15.80 with heat, because um, that's the only way it's gonna really get the boosting. Really like that. And then when I, because obviously, I, when I have my hair like this, I just rough dry my hair upside down and then I will um, use my GHDs to curl the ends. I don't have any other sort of hot tool. And then on the ends of my hair, this product when I'm blow drying my hair, um, I use the round um, Brush Lab ceramic um, green bristle brush um, that Lisa Lisa D1 sent me from the US to blow dry my hair. And what I'll do is on the ends of my hair, I'll use this styling product and this is called Laser Straight. And this is amazing, it's a relaxing fluid. And Literally, I remember I went out, it was such a hot day, like crazy hot for England. And I was sitting outside in the sun all day, I went to rugby, it was so hot. And if I'm going to sweat, I'm going to sweat my hair. And my hair is quite curly underneath, like this will form ringlets. And I was thinking, oh my god, like by the time I get to the bar after the game and all that, and being so hot and sweating or glowing underneath like where it's got a bit sweaty but this stuff literally relaxed it and it kept it, it it was straight the whole day and I was so thankful and I thought to be honest it must have been this because any other time I would have had kinks even like this really helps I'm always putting my hair behind my ears like when I'm looking down or looking at stuff I'm always getting it out and putting it behind my ears and you know you even get that like I don't mind it because it's curled but you know when you get that kink back, um, if you have short layers like me, you get that kink back from where you put it behind your ears. And I think that was even less um, kinky than it would normally be because I was using laser straight. This is my hair mask from Unite and it's called the Unite Moisturising Repair Treatment. And what I do is once a week, like on a Sunday night, is one, normally when I do, you know, all my preening for the week ahead. Um, which I hope a lot of other people do because I'm like obsessive about my Sunday night preening. Um, yeah, on a Sunday night, instead I will shampoo my hair with the volumizing shampoo and then I will use the moisturizing repair mask in the shower instead of my conditioner. Then again, bring my hair onto the side, get on my ends, use about what size? 10 p piece, maybe? That's not good for people in the US. They look like that. But you don't need that much of shampoo and conditioner. They're really rich products, so you don't need that much. Um, but yeah, just get normal size, like a large, I don't know, like a large garden pea size. A lingerie macaroon size, I don't know. Um, anyway, you get the gist. You get a good size of this, um, and you put it in your hair. And then what I would do is I'll do my other, all my other cleansing of areas in the shower. Um, so then I leave that on for about, um, you're meant to leave it on for 20 minutes. To be honest, I don't normally spend... 20 minutes in the shower, um, but I do that. And if I'm in the bath, great, because I leave it on even longer. Finally, what I use to finish my hair is I use a combination of this product and my fudge hairspray. Like my fudge hairspray is never gonna be not in my routine. It's amazing, it smells gorgeous. And I use the fudge skyscraper, which is like the maximum hold hairspray, and I love it. But what I do use before I use my hairspray 
to sort of tame my ends if they're a bit frizzy or if I don't need hairspray. What I would do is I'll use this product and it's called Tricky Light Finishing Spray. And basically this is like, apparently this is getting quite popular. I was talking to my hairdresser that cut my hair, but it's like a hybrid product where it's like part wax, part hairspray. And it works really well. I think it works best with heat. Um, so what you would do is you would shake it up and then smooth shininess of hairspray but then it also provides more hold than a wax um, and this works really well if you spray this um, where you would normally spray hairspray but I wouldn't spray it on the root because it is part wax just breathe it in so it's just blast it with a hairdryer um, now if you want tightly formed curls and you don't want to blast it using this product just use it on a low um, on a low blow setting okay, that's it that's all my hair care um, so thank you everyone who commented and said how nice my hair looked. Um, it's very nice of you. It's because it's obviously a lot of information that I talked about. Like, it's a large hair care range and there are so many different options. What I will do is I will write a blog post about it imminently and, um, when I've written it I will put the details in the description bar of this video. So then you can go to the blog and read all about, you know, the, the size of the product, the key ingredients it contains, um, and how much it costs and where you can, but actually I think you can buy it, <clears throat> ah, you can buy it at www.boutique.com and boutique is spelled, I mean it's beautique, so it's B-E-A-U-T-I-Q-U-E dot com. I enjoyed this video and it just gives you a bit of insight into my hair. Um, if you would like to see a tutorial on how I do my hair, like this is how I normally have my hair all the time, um, then let me know. It's not complicated and it's easily recreated, I think. Um, so, yeah, if you'd like to see that, let me know. And if you have any comments or anything, leave them below and I will answer them, as I always do. Um, so thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.